Okay, today's topic is how to create positivity in your life. How is it we can do some amazing and sometimes unexplainable things? Like heal our own bodies by the power of our thought. Mother's intuition, the law of attraction. Can we really tap into our subconscious mind? Can we really create our own realities? It begs the question, are we novice gods? Welcome back fellow creators. We are talking today about how to create positivity in your life. Now I gotta tell you, I think that positivity has gotten a bad rap over the years in the media and in TV and things like that. I remember that uh, on Saturday Night Live they used to always have this show, this is way back when I was young, um, Stuart Smalley or something like that and he would look in his mirror and he'd say because I'm good enough and I'm smart enough and he'd practice these affirmations and they made it look so they made him look so stupid and like it was so silly to tell yourself these things you know and they they just they made fun of people like that and so I used to kind of think that yeah maybe you know maybe it wasn't cool to be positive like that or to you know, say affirmations or things. And, you know, most of my life has been pretty negative. Uh, I've been focused on all these things that I didn't have. I've been, we all do that though, right? You know, it's easy to think negatively because you're thinking downhill. And gravity just takes you down and you end up spiraling down. Well, I have found the beauty in thinking positive. There's tons of research out there that you live longer, that you are healthier, that you attract great things into your life when you are positive. So let's talk a little bit about how to create positivity in your life. Now, first of all, you have to understand that positivity is a choice. To looking on the bright side <clears throat> is a choice. It's also a skill and the more you work at it, the better you'll get at it, the easier it will become, and the more benefits that you'll receive. So understand it's a skill, and with any skill, repetition and consistency are the key. Uh, I, I wrote a book on the seven core skills of everyday happiness, and that's kind of one of the things that I have discovered is the, the more you treat things like a skill, the more control you have over things in your life. Okay, so one of the questions to ask yourself when you have an opportunity to be positive or not is what will what will be the best for you? Which will be most constructive? Which will serve you the most? You know, I mean, it's really easy to be negative and get on that negative train and, and complain and moan and, you know, point the finger, you know, at all the things going wrong in your life or the people that are going wrong. But you have to think, Will that really serve me well? Is that constructive? Is that gonna build me? Uh, so anyway, that's kind of the first step with positivity is understanding you are gonna get great benefits if you choose to be positive. Okay, let me, let me tell you a little story about this. Uh, I call this the fortunate flat tire. So a few years ago, I just started on my own, had started my own company and had an opportunity to meet with a lady that worked at the largest employer in the state that I reside. Huge, huge opportunity for me. And uh, if I got this contract, it would be amazing for my business. And I was so excited about it. And so the day came that I had this meeting with her and I started to drive. I live in a small farming community up in the mountains and I started to drive and as I got kind of to the edge of my town leaving, I looked and on my car, it had a little yellow light that showed that there was a tire issue. Ah, so I kind of freak out and I pull over to the side of the road and I walk around and look at all of my tires and sure enough, on the driver's side front, uh, front tire, there was a screw sticking out, this metal pinhead screw, uh, Phillips actually. <laughs> And I, I thought, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? It's a 45 minute drive. I shouldn't drive with this. If I get a blow out in the middle, what do I do? And I had planned just, you know, a little bit of extra time so that I wouldn't have to rush. But now I'm stuck. And so I'm in my car and I'm freaking out and I'm kind of spiraling down, you know, falling into my old patterns of negativity. When I realized, wait a second, what's really going on here? What's really going on here is 
I don't have a flat tire. I'm going to have a flat tire. That little light is warning me that something bad is going to happen, but it hasn't happened yet. And so the car is still drivable. Suddenly that opens up my mind to possibilities. I call, you know, I, I grab my cell phone, I call my daughter who just happened to be home from high school that day and asked her if she could meet me at the tire store and uh, we'd switch cars and she'd get me up and on my road, uh, up and on the road and everything worked out great. Uh, she met me there, I was able to get moving, I dropped her off uh, and then and then I'm driving down and I'm able to call my appointment because I live in this amazing age of technology. I have a cell phone with me and I'm able to call this woman and let her know I'm going to be a few minutes late and I let her know why, you know, because I got this flat tire. Now just think about had I gone in, had I, had I some miracle happened and I was able to get down to the appointment you know, just without kind of thinking positively through all of this stuff, I would have gotten there and I would have been angry and I would have been frustrated and I would have been in the, a totally wrong mindset to have the kind of conversation that you need to have with a new client to build trust and uh, friendship. And anyway, so it was a really amazing thing that I had learned about the power of positivity. I was able to stop, calm myself, look at what was really going on, and then I spent the drive in feelings of gratitude. Gratitude that I had a car that was smart enough to tell me not only that I had a flat tire, but it would tell me that I was going to have a flat tire. And I, I live in a day and age where I have a cell phone where I'm able to call ahead and say I'm going to be a few minutes late. And the woman was kind enough to say, I understand you're going to be about 20 minutes late. Let's still go ahead with our meeting. What a fortunate day. The fortunate flat tire. So just imagine how you would have reacted or how you react when bad things happen to you. You know, do you start to spiral down? Do you freak out? Do you, do you let it ruin your day? And is there another option? Can you flip that coin over and look at the other side and find some positive things, even in stuff that, on the surface, boy, how could you even find good stuff out of it? So if you wanna create positivity in your life, first recognize that you have an option to choose. You always, always, always have an option to choose. And the other thing is there is always, always, always something to be grateful for. If you can find, again, this is a skill, if you can find a way to be grateful in any situation, it will help you be positive. And when you are positive, you will reap all the benefits that come from being positive. And uh, you'll have a cool head, you'll be calm, you'll be relaxed, you'll be able to see clearly. You'll be able to make the kind of relationships that last, the kind of friendships and opportunities that can really benefit you and your family. Okay, so I want you to be really good at positivity. Remember, positivity, being positive, is a skill, and it's a skill that you can get really good at. So let's start right now. I want you to look down in the show notes, and I want you to tell me three fortunate things that have happened to you today. Three fortunate things. It may be kind of hard to think about that. Uh, if, you, if this is early in the morning that you're watching this, you might want to think about yesterday. What are three fortunate things that happened to you yesterday? Write them in the show notes or write them in the, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, write them down in the comments below. You can look in the show notes. I've got a lot of resources there that can help you use happiness as a skill. Use all of these different skills to make your life the kind of life that you are super excited about living. Hey friends, want to get rid of stress, anxiety, and worry? Ready to use some of your inner creation powers? Visit scottwilhite.com and join me for a web class. If you do it soon, I'll give you a free planner.